Hi everyone, it's me Nat and today I thought I would do a shed and a hutch tour. I'm not going to go around the shed in a lot of detail because it literally hasn't changed since last time. But I'll show you the shed floor and the hutch in detail. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's just get on with the video. So the shed, I don't actually know where it's from because I didn't actually buy it. It was here when we got the house as our house came with two sheds as well. So this is a really old one. It probably measures around 8 foot, 9 foot by 4 foot. So yeah, it's perfect size for guinea pigs and they just run around on the floor of it. It's completely theirs. There's nothing else in there apart from the barbecue that isn't theirs. Um, I've got It's got one window on the side which doesn't open and we don't know how to open it because it's like stapled in. Um, but we've made this um, adjustment door for the summertime. I'll just put it up and show you what I mean. So as you can see, it's literally just a piece of a run attached to the front by two hooks. It works fine um, and it keeps out the cats and any other predators so it just is like my fly net door basically but it doesn't stop flies, <laughs> it just stops predators. So yeah that's that, uh, nothing more to that so let's just go inside now. So as you can see just around the shed I have this bunny business run which used to be Minstrel's old cage and I just put it so that they can't run out straight away and so that nothing can go in straight away. It's pretty basic, it's the same thing as last time, I just attach them by hooks um, I have one going behind this little travel cot and the rest going round because I have a barbecue here and I don't want them to go underneath it. So that's pretty standard, it's just like a fence and I can unhook it and walk in and out like a door. So it works perfectly fine and it's perfectly stable so that's what I have as like a deterrent to get them to come out, to not get them to come out. And as you can see I have some lino, I mean I cut it a bit short and not very straight. Oh my, <laughs> but I have this lino here just to protect the shed flooring and um, I do have in my previous video I talk about it in a lot more detail so if you want to know a lot of detail about that um, then watch the setting up a guinea pig hutch and shed, I think that's what it's called um, and that will tell you a lot about it in detail but briefly it was from eBay and it's just some lino and I'll link it below if I can find the exact one but you know with eBay they change all the time so don't know whether I will but it's just basic lino flooring just to protect the floor in case they wee or when it rains and stuff like that so I've just stepped in now, I'm sorry if you can hear them drinking water, it's the, you know, the guinea pig logic to drink water when you're filming. <laughs> I've just got a box of stuff there that's not very well organised, um, but that's just there on my left, and also a travel carrier which is open so they can use that as a little hideaway. My right is exactly what was there last time, the same old rubbish that I've just crammed, stuff I don't really use, or stuff I always use, so yeah, that's just crammed underneath this barbecue. Um, and there's lots of toys up there. I've also got a clean out happening over there, hence where a lot of their soft toys aren't in. So if you're wondering where all their cosy items are, they're all going in the wash. Um, so that's why there is a lack of cosy items on the shed floor at the moment. But yeah, so the hutch is just at the back, as you can see. And also on top, there is a hay bale. Like always, I get my bales from a farm and I just get big ones. And this is probably the nicest bale I've ever had. It's so green and fresh, it's absolutely lovely. So if you're wondering on what to do about hay, seeing as guinea pigs and rabbits go through so much, I totally recommend getting a bale from a farm or somewhere. And if you have a shed, just storing it on top of the hutch, it works perfectly fine. And yeah, it does me a long time. <laughs> on the top, there's just a hay rack, as you can see, and also a celebrations tin, and that's got their food in it. But yeah, their hutch is just here. This is the Rosewood Cottage, I think, from Pets at Home. Cost me like £120, because it was an offer, I think it's £179 at the moment but just wait for it to go on offer if you're considering getting it because I got mine for a lot cheaper um, and this is just an overview of it and the shed floor so starting off on the shed floor um, obviously there's just the lino here and then next to me I have this fleece I just put this fleece down just for something soft for them to sit on if they want to so it's just a star fleece from Tesco I think it was around like seven or eight pounds or even cheaper maybe my sister got it for me for Christmas so I don't actually know but um yeah great Christmas present Lou thanks so much guinea pig fleeces always an essential the guinea pigs are making a lot of noise whilst I'm filming but you know that is just predictable isn't it <laughs> and just at the end of the fleece is a carrot pay patch I think that's what it's called these are just ones with the carrots that come out the guinea pigs have paid, paid no attention to this well I don't think they have I can't see any shoe marks um, so yeah, I wouldn't really recommend that for the guinea pigs, maybe for rabbits, maybe they like them. I don't know, they haven't really paid any attention to it. So that was just there and I got that from the pet hut if you're wondering. And just next to the play patch I have a variety of chews. So I've got this little lollipop chew that my one of my best friends got me from Pets at Home. Uh, I think it was the spring collection, I can't remember. I also got the piece of cake from Lou Bougetsu's shop 
and a little donut from there as well so i'll leave my haul from her below and her website as well because she's got some great stuff not gonna lie the guinea pigs have not touched these but my guinea pigs do not chew chews it's so annoying i want them to like love chews but they just they're literally not fussed at all so um yeah i guess they're cute in the cage that's why i buy them because i know that they're not going to chew them anyway but um yeah those are those and i think they're very cute just next to that we have a little, or not little, but the strawberry house. It's actually meant to be against the door but they've moved it already. <laughs> it's a little strawberry house, I just put some newspaper in there because the cushion it came with was so rubbish and as soon as they read it just went everywhere. So I've just put some newspaper in there. They then just have this big seagrass ball from the Rosewood range and they absolutely love this. Um, they haven't chewed much of it but they had a small one and they destroyed it so I just bought them a bigger one recently and it's got some herbs and whatnot in there so hopefully they'll start chewing that soon and actually get through to those. So that's that. And just behind the strawberry house is just some newspaper because guinea pigs, you know, wee poo everywhere. And then they've just got their little, or not little, I call everything little even when it's not, but they have their, um, oh, well, I've, you know what, I've, you know what, I've forgotten the names of absolutely every single pet item there is to be, and I feel like this is because I haven't done a cage tour in ages, but they have this, I know probably you're all the shouting at the screens being like, it's this, but I can't remember it for the life of me. <laughs> it's a little carrot ball that releases treats and um, yeah, I use this instead of a bowl for their pellets because it's so much better for them to like run around a bit, otherwise they just get really fat, which they kind of are already. But yeah, I just use that instead of a bowl. So that's just got their pellets in it and I use the Harry, no I don't, I use the Oxbow pellets. Oh my, um, I use the Oxbow pellets for adult guinea pigs. Um, so that's just in there. Their food well is also here and this has just got one of those like hay cookies from the Naturals range again. And they're absolutely the Naturals of Rosewood range. <laughs> and this is just compressed hay in like a stack, in like a cookie thing. It's just compressed, there's nothing else in it. Um, and with all the natural herbs and grasses and they love these. So I just put one of those in a bowl because they make so much mess. So I just put those on there and again on top of newspaper. <laughs> so this is actually a new item. Well, it's not new, but I've moved it around. Hence why they're acting a bit like, oh, this is exciting. Because usually that is in that corner, as I'm sure you'll remember. But I've just moved it over here for now just so, to see, to get them out more on the shed floor. Because this is part of their cage as well. So I think it's just as important as they use this bit as much as they use in there. Especially as they're locked in there at night. So I'd rather they used here more so I've just got the litter tray and um, it's got newspaper and wood shavings like always I always do this combo it's got newspaper wood shavings lots of green hay and I've also stuffed one of these um, this is also from Rosewood and it's got a toilet roll tube in stuffed and then just some hay this is a really fun board and breaker for guinea pigs um, my guinea pigs love things like this this is probably their favorite toy ever so if you're stuck for ideas just stuff a toilet roll tube put some herbs right in the middle and then they will absolutely destroy it and have so much fun I put the corrugated tunnel on it just to make it a bit more challenging because they just rip them open otherwise so yeah that's a good idea if you're ever stuck for ways to feed hay in a more exciting way and also give them a treat of herbs because they love that Moving on to the actual hutch, I've just got lino, newspaper and shavings. A lot of you have been asking me why I've moved from shavings to fleece. When I, when I just had minstrel, she was so well litter trained that fleece was a breeze because I didn't have to wash it barely ever and she always kept it clean and never weed on it, it never smelt. But Trevor's not litter trained and she weed pooed everywhere all over it and I don't have the ability to wash the fleece like 10 times a day and like buy 10 fleeces. It's just too much. I wouldn't say effort but it's too much hassle especially as I go to school so I can't keep it clean like throughout the day I don't work from home or something to keep switching it and also my mum won't be using the washing machine that much so I stayed away from fleece these shavings are the uh, snowflake <laughs> wood shavings literally I've forgotten every piece of animal vocabulary today um, these are just the snowflake wood shavings which I really really like they're really non dusty and they're actually very soft I feel like I could sleep on these so yeah I like these and I just have those on the base of both levels of the hutch of course there's just a standard water bottle I have a large one here and I also have a large one up there which I've just refreshed and cleaned hence why it looks like it's really wet on the outside so yeah they just have two water bottles one on each level so at the back we just have a hay rack, this was from Pets at Home, usually it comes in a wooden colour and I just painted it blue with pink polka dots. It's just a hay rack, it keeps the hay clean and fresh and it's got holes on either side and a lid so they can't sit on it and wee on it because that's what Minstrel did once when I left the lid off. So um, yeah, that's just their hay rack. 
And just here is a toilet roll tube. This is just stuffed with hay. Again, favourite way to feed them hay. They absolutely adore it. They will always eat so much hay if I give it them give it to them this way. So that's just the stuffed toilet roll tube, completely plain. I could cover it in like pretty wrapping paper or paint it, but they like it that way. They shred it, they chew it, it's great. <laughs> they do love having fun with those. And also there's a chew 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 tube at the back, and that's just from Asda. Coco and the Crazy Cavi gave that to me when I met her two years ago actually, funny enough, and it's still alive today and it's still in quite good tact. I mean, it's not the best, but they've weeded in it a bit and ripped a bit of the inside out, but it's not too bad considering it's two years old. A lot of people go through those very quickly. <laughs> so yeah, that's just on that side. I'm just gonna open this bit now. They're both sat in here, so I gotta do it without freaking them both out. <laughs> so just in here is a brown litter tray. Um, and again, this just has newspaper shavings and hay, and you can see truffles there, minstrels actually in there. There's also a rosewood hay rack on here. Oh my god, there's a huge spider on me! Sorry about that, <laughs> there was a spider on me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's a hay rack here, and it's just a standard rosewood hay rack, which they don't ever use, so... Again, another great thing that my guinea pigs absolutely adore, obviously. <laughs> they, don't, they don't really use much, do much, or um, have much, because they're just not really that fussed, are you, mate? Right, moving up to the top part. It's pretty empty. I keep this one mainly for just sleeping and running about, um, seeing as the bottom has got quite a lot of stuff in it. So, again, it's just got these nice big doors to open with. And I have another Lou Bougensu, um tube. And this is just the lollipop one, and it's blue, pink, and purple, which is very cute. I just keep that there. They don't, again, they don't chew it, but it's cute. And they have a hay and hide tunnel from Rosewood again, I think. Um, they've actually chewed this. They loved it the first time they had it, and now they're just not fussed. But it's fine, because it's a little tube. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. Are we having an argument? Yeah, is that necessary? So yeah, they're not really fussed by it now, but they did love it when I first got it. And the water bottle, like I said. And then in here is just a big mound of hay, a seriously big mound of hay. In the nights now, it starts to get a bit cooler. It's summer here, but it's not that summery. I mean, today is probably about 17 degrees. It's just sunny. Um, well, sunny and rainy to be fair. There's Ralph. Can you spot Ralph? There's Ralph. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's not hot now, but in the nights it drops a bit, gets to like, I don't know, maybe <laughs> 10 degrees, 8 degrees. Uh, not even that really, actually. It's a bit hotter than that. 15. I actually have no idea, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> 10, 8, 4. <laughs> no idea. But yeah, it gets a bit chillier, so I just shove a lot of hay in there, and they love eating and sleeping in that. So yes, that's the whole shed and hutch tour. So as you can see, it's pretty minimalistic, but on the floor it's a bit more fun. I've just moved all those tubes to that little bit there, just because I was sat there, but they will be moved back afterwards. But yeah, that's just that, and I usually keep down here a bit emptier, because I tend to trim a bit of grass for them and put that here, and they tend to sit here and eat that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all next time, bye!